All right, we're at the Library of Congress, Indian Bonus Veteran. Now, LOC doesn't specify this young man's culture or uh, tribe that he's from. But as you can see, this is definitely indigenous American uh, traditional clothing that he's wearing. Now we go to the Charon Hake, Nottoway. Next. Montauk, Miss Emma Depp King. She's dressed in traditional clothing. All right, Montauk. Okay. Let's visit their sister tribe, Shinnecock, New York Heritage Digital Collections. This is Shinnecock. And this is her friend, who's Montauk. All right, she's dressed in traditional clothing. Next, we're gonna visit the Smithsonian Institute. Bertha Ellen Wright. Her culture is Nanticoke, and she's wearing traditional clothing. She has the feathers, the beads. All right. Next, Ruth Bradby. She's from the uh, same tribe as uh, Chris Brown, Paul Monkey. She has the feather headband. Next, go further down, South Carolina. South Carolina, the Wakama, the Wakama Indian. He actually resembles Chris Brown. You see the young ladies in the back. All right. Last but not least, we have Seminole or Seminoles, aka Muskoki. All right, these beautiful young ladies. Traditional clothing. She's a missionary. Most likely, she's attempting to convert these, convert convert these young ladies into uh, Christianity. Or Catholicism or be a Catholic or something. But I didn't really read the article. But you guys can check that out. In conclusion, the original people of the Americas are not culture vultures. Bottom line. See you guys next time.